Hi guys, welcome to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender, and today I'm showing you how to make a suffering bastard. This one was featured in Smuggler's Cove, but it was also suggested to me by Alexis Del Delgado. Thanks for the suggestion. There's also a couple of variations on this recipe. Uh, there is the dying bastard, which calls for the addition of bourbon whiskey. And then there's the dead bastard, which calls for the addition of bourbon whiskey plus rum. But I'm just gonna to stick to this one which is a, a simplified variation. I'll leave all the recipes in the description below. So if you guys do want to make them and give them a try, that's where they'll be. I have to apologize uh, to Aiden Lodo. He's been my su first supporter, I think, on Patreon or the longest running supporter on Patreon. And he sent me a gift about three weeks ago and I promised to open up on camera. But today is finally the day. I have no idea what it is. It's been sitting next to my desk for ages. And I've been really keen to, to open it, but I just, I haven't had the chance. Tupperware knife, sweet. Pairing knives, more top. Damn, Tupperware stuff is expensive. <laughs> Thanks, Aiden. Add a speaker. Mine literally just broke like a week ago. That's perfect. Add a thermos. I always go hiking as well, so I'll be able to take my hot coffee with me. Nice. Thanks, Aiden. Massive thank you, Aiden. That is, that's huge, especially those knives. I'll use those in the videos all the time, so you'll see a lot of them. But onto the cocktail itself. And another big shout out to Mountain Distilling for sending me this, uh, this bottle of gin. Hugely appreciated. They sent it to me over a month ago, and I'm finally getting to a chance to use it and it'll definitely be being used in a couple of upcoming videos. I'll run into a little bit more of the details about this type of gin, um, but very briefly, it's in Victoria, uh, or it's made in Victoria from um, within Australia, and it's made with a few native botanicals. It's foraged, so it's got uh, citrus notes, pepperberry, and lemon myrtle. So I'm really keen to, to actually sample this straight up and then do some more uh, gin forward cocktails, but for now, I'm just going to get going. I'm starting to waffle a little bit. I'm going to measure out one, one ounce or 30 mil of your favorite gin and follow that with same measurement, 30 mil, one ounce of your preferred brandy. I'm using Remy VSOP. And then freshly squeezed lime juice, 15 mil, half an ounce and simple syrup. Please note that the original recipe does actually call for demerara syrup and I'll leave that in the description as well. So please don't accost me if you're using the wrong, wrong sugar. Uh, seven and a half mil, one quarter ounce. And two dashes of Angostura bitters before filling the cocktail shake with ice and giving it a good shake. And this one's topped with ginger beer as well. So it should be about four ounces. And I'm gonna add it straight into the shake first, just so the ingredients combine before I strain it over the fresh ice. Then garnish with a mint sprig. So there you have a suffering bastard. Cheers. All right, that is wicked. Um, gin actually works really well with ginger beer. Like make sure you get a spicy ginger beer. Uh, you, do, you do get some of those flavors from the gin coming through as well. You get those citrusy notes. It's really fresh. You get the aromatics from the, um, uh, from the fresh mint that's sitting on top. The Angostura bitters really does complement the, the drink. I really like this one. Nice and refreshing. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.